Hi, everybody. Ross from IAMS11. Hope you're all safe and well. If you use the channel, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell icon so you're made aware of any time I put new content on. As always, I'd like to thank our lovely channel sponsors, Untuck It. Check them out in the description below. Um, today's guest, you see, is I believe it's our 63rd or 64th ex player we've had on the channel. Um, he's the first player ever to play for West Ham whose surname began with a Z. Did you know that, Bob? Did you know that? Yeah. Okay. No, I didn't know that. Oh, there you go. Who came in after? Heinz. No, no. No, Z that's Savile. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zabaleta. Yeah. And uh, Zaza. Oh, Zabaleta. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Simeone Zaza yeah. and uh, the best, best was the best best one was the first one I suppose. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Matt Marius yeah. as well. I mean, you know, once once you've broken the mold, yeah. that's it done. You know, you, you, you've yeah, you've yeah, got it in. Um, <laughs> not only <laughs> is, is he got that that accolade, but obviously, um, you know, played over made over 150 first team appearances, 40 goals. Uh, runner up hammer of the year 2007. Yes, yeah, 2006. Should have won that one. Should have won, won, won that one. Should have won that one. Joke. Won. Give it to yeah. Tevez, didn't you? What, yeah, just because his name's Tevez, what a joke! Unbelievable. Barely, barely turned Rubbish. up, didn't he? Barely turned up that season, didn't he? Barely turned up. Um, and he turned up halfway through the season, to be honest. Um, but also, more importantly, Bob obviously scored the goal which took us up. You know, the mm. Preston goal. Which, yeah. thinking about it, you know, your goals to to pounds ratio is quite good in your career because obviously you scored mm. that goal. You did it at QPR as well. That's three hundred million pounds worth of money in two goals. That ain't bad yeah, return. I know. Shame, much, shame, I didn't see much of it. I, say, I don't think you saw much with it, to be honest. But no, anyway. no, that's a shame. <laughs> How are we, Mr. Zamora? How are we, my friend? I'm good, pal. Yeah, I'm not bad at all. Not bad at all, mate. How's, um, yeah, please, how's obviously, everything? seeing where the hammers are at the minute. Yeah, exactly, man. It's, uh, yeah, it's fortunate, isn't it? There's not, you know, everything else that's going crazy in the world, but the one thing we'd have to worry about is, is West Ham for once, mm. which is, which yeah, is fantastic. Yeah, I know. Can you imagine? Oh, God. How, how have you been in this weird world we live in? Same as everybody else, pal. Just can't wait, mate. Look, look, looks like we see the finish line in the distance. So, um, yeah, just uh, looking forward to that, mate. Bit of sunshine. We've got through the worst, the worst of it. Shitty weather and all the COVID. And yeah, looks like sunshine and um, blue skies ahead for, for us. Yeah, it was e it was easier, weren't it? It was easier when we were like thirty odd degrees in the sun in the in the garden. It yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, it was, it was, it was, yeah, we've all had enough now. So, yeah. yeah. Fingers was, crossed, pal. Was there much? Uh, was there much homeschooling in the Zamora household? Yes, shit in it. They can't wait. He, he never thought in a million years would you have that kids would want to get back to school. <laughs> can't wait. So, yeah, yeah, brilliant. I think my daughter that Sunday. I think she's eight. I think she took herself to bed at like seven o'clock. <laughs> she laid out a school yeah. uniform. She was like, oh, yeah, God, exactly. so excited. Come Couldn't on, wait. yeah, wake, waking you up early. They're ready to go. Oh, it's a joke, yeah. isn't it? It's that extra hour. Oh, you know, it's that extra hour. I can't get you know when mm. it was working from home. It, you know, the well, you know whole schooling from home is easy. You get up and you roll out of bed, throw yeah. some, but oh, just getting up and getting ready and having a shower and stuff. It's it's, it's crazy. Yeah. Um. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Um. Obviously, and obviously, West Ham doing well, which is great. We know they're doing well, which is brilliant. And yeah, it's it's nice to see, man. It's nice to see. It's nice to see at the moment. Um. As I said, I don't think I could cope with a lockdown. Everything's going on in the world, and that's yeah. been fighting for relegation, which is um, mm. which is good, which is good for turn up. But um, obviously, we, we talk about we talk about the past, the nostalgia stuff, and and you know, obviously, you know, West Ham barking boy, West Ham boy. Um, if we go right back to the beginning, obviously, you signed mm. as an apprentice for West Ham. Um, Schoolboy, yeah. Schoolboy, yeah. Was it always yeah. was it always West Ham? It was always going to be West Ham when they came calling. Um, so I was at Charlton at like. You know, it sounds quite old now. I think I must have been uh, 10, 11. Yeah. I mean, they get snapped up at like age Mental. three now. It's mad. Yeah. But uh, I think I was like 10, I think. And I was at Charlton and we trained at Newham Leisure Centre, actually, on the Astro at, at Newham Leisure Centre. Yeah. We used to. Um, Alan Kerbishley was actually one of the coaches over there, believe it or not. Mad. Crazy. And, um, and uh, I remember playing for Newham um, at Langdon School and... Um, my my best friend um, Frankie, his dad was uh, was obviously a, a, a huge West Ham fan, mm. and um, he played for the district side with me as well. And and then the dad the dad was on the side watching the game. My mum weren't there, um, and um, Frank Lampard Senior was watching. W w came over to watch me, um, so uh, he ended up speaking to to to, to Danny. 
Um, because obviously he was looking after me, taking me home after the yeah. game and that. So, yeah, I mean, uh, he spoke to me after the game and just said, look, you know, love you to come and have a trial over West Ham and, you know, play, play a couple of games for us. So, I was like, yeah, unbelievable. They were buzzing, I was buzzing. It was just, yeah, on the way home, just absolutely buzzing. So, ended up um, going over there and was over over there till uh, 14, I suppose. From, I suppose 11 till 14. Mm. But we had a, a real good side. As, again, as, I mean, uh, yeah, was, JT was over there. Ledley was over there mm. at, at one stage. Paul Konczewski. Um, yeah, real good, real good set of lads. And then, you know, uh, they... they they bring the other satellite centres in. We always trained at Chadwell Leaf, but they're obviously yeah. the other ones, you know, around the country. Michael Carrick was was up at the, the yeah. one up north. So in the summer holidays, they'd come down and they'd have a, you know, a, a mixed game between all the, all the sides. Um, so it was, you'd get to know who the faces were. Adam Newton, um, Sean Byrne. Yeah. Yeah. Cara. Um, so you get to know the, you know, who, who's in what, what sort of areas. It's but great, yeah. no, great, I loved it, loved it. Um, uh, so uh, yeah, that was that was my time at the Amazon back, back as a kid. Yeah, yeah, and then obviously, it, you know, so it went full circle, didn't it? Full circle, and obviously, you know, yeah. and, you, and you came back, you know, full time, full mm. time. That's you know, obviously, you mm. know, from 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 them down, you know, North London. Yeah, um, and. <laughs> That was just a stopgap. I was only there. I was only there a blink of an eye. That's you know what I mean. mean? Stopgap. It was all yeah. part of the plan. Went in, oh. went in, didn't like it, shot off. Yeah. Yeah. It's like yeah. going to a shit party, isn't it? It's like going yeah. to a shit party. It is. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> you go in for a little drink, walk around so everyone can see you, and then later, then a couple of days, like, oh, do you remember that time yeah. we in the party? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you were there, yeah. weren't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah. I know. And that, but that's, that's, when it, that's when it really began, you know, when it came back. And obviously, you know, when West Ham came calling, I know it's part of the deal with with Jermaine coming going out going back over. But you know, when you were told that you know you were part of it, did you get told that you're part of it? How does it work with the players? Yeah, that was, so it was January. It was January transfer window, yeah. so it was obviously um, last couple of days. Um, Leeds were actually informed me as well, um, and Leeds were were in the Premier League yeah. um, and doing well. So I mean, it was like Leeds, yeah, nice. But when I found out West Ham were in. Um, it was like, yeah, you know, wanted to, and it, it was, it, it, it came down to me in terms of uh, parts uh, said, look, if you don't get, if you don't get him as part of the deal with, then it, then it doesn't, doesn't happen. So, um, so uh, yeah, I mean, it was, <laughs> it was a given for me anyhow. He didn't even have to say, you know, you know, part, part, part of that, but um, yeah, ended up coming back home. So, yeah, it was chuffed to be there and um yeah, chuffed to score on my debut. I remember oh, I remember yeah. Bradford away was the debut. Yeah. What a shit hole. Um but scored so absolutely buzzing. And then the home game Cardiff. debut, I remember, you know, walking at yeah, Cardiff one nil, what scored in scored scored the winner. So um yeah, it was fantastic. You know what I mean? I'm forever blowing bubbles. I've said it before, you know, when when you're when you go out as a pit on yeah. the pitch and you sung it so many times, it's like the hairs on the back of your yeah. neck. It's like, oh, unbelievable. So it was so, so surreal, really was. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, like I say, scoring oh. debut at home was fantastic as well. Yeah. And it's, and I mean, look, there's lots, lots of, lots of people, lots of strikers we bought in seem to score in the debut. Yeah. You know, TC obviously scored in his mm. debut and Hearts and then scored in his debut and, mm. and you sell, and it, it just gets you going, didn't it? And I mean, you were banging him in that time. Yeah. And, and then obviously, yeah, <laughs> coming home, bubbles, all that. It just, it just worked. It just worked, didn't it? And obviously, Pard's really mm. wanting you, must have given you some like, you know, I know you like you're buzzing already coming in, but for the manager to say, look, he's in it or, or we, 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 we don't have the deal. You mm. must, you know, he's 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 got some real. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it was it was nice. It was actually funny. I, I actually uh, I spoke to Glenn Roder as well once before before yeah. um before I even went to Spurs. I think it was about the same time as Spurs, but they they um they didn't come up with the money. So, yeah. but I remember speaking to him in the summer, him saying, "Look, you know, I would love it, love to have you over." And it's like, oh, okay, yeah, fantastic. Uh, but no no bid went in. So, um, yeah. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, nice that parts wanted us and nice to hit the ground running. Oh, definitely, man. And as you said, hit the ground running, smashing goals. Obviously, you know, just for a little bit of history, so to speak, history seems fucking ridiculous in 2012. Mm. But but back in the day, even there, um, obviously, you know, you, you started that for, you know, you came in that season at January, you know, we'd we'd got to the 
playoffs. And obviously you had that mm. fantastic, that, that, you know, everyone talks about that Ipswich game, you know, back in, under the lights at the bowling in the semi-final, we got that. And I still remember, still remember someone talked to me yes the other day about Christian Daly. Like, I remember we gave him the mic, didn't we? And he did like, he's sort of like, remember at the end of the game, we're going to go to Cardiff and we're going to win. And I was like, yeah. 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 Obviously, obviously it didn't, didn't pan out like that. Um, yeah. I still have it's so so funny like when I still do if I have a like DJ at like a friend's wedding or whatever when we had weddings and we could do things like that and someone asked me oh can you play it glad all over I still can't play it because I've just got this vision of like closing my eyes and seeing about 40,000 yellow shirts that singing glad all over the palace uh, I hate them yeah. I hate them and all I hate them as you hate everyone don't yeah. you mm. hate everyone <laughs> Yeah, I really, but, I really like them, but and yeah, but you know, of course, they but obviously, we went to Cardiff three years in a row, then so obviously, we lost the first mm. one, and then the second one yeah. was a little bit different because nobody did we obviously, yeah. you know, obviously, but but you scored the winner now mm. in those playoff games. We've had Anton on, we've had various other players, and they talk, and I, and I always ask them about you know, because there's so much riding on that game for the club. Do you feel this extra sense of pressure, or is it your, your time to shine, or do you treat it like another game? What's the what's the thought process? I didn't really. I, I was. I was. We. I, well, I just felt the team were in a good place, yeah. really good place. So I didn't really feel weren't, weren't nervous. It's funny though. I, I don't really get nervous for yeah. the big games. I really don't. So um, I just remember us as a team being in a good place and um, those those semi finals confidently winning. Um, yeah. So it was. Yeah, we'll. Um, We've gone through the job, and we did. I can't believe it was comfortably. I think. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, I'm impressed. I was like really comfortable. Mm. It might have, I can't remember who I interviewed. It was someone. It might have been Anton, but it might have been someone who, who went to both, and and they were saying that the first one they took it like that. You had all the suits. I remember you did your little uh, your little video cam of the day, which was on like you could buy as a DVD. No, that was the, that was the second. That was the second one. That second one. The, that that was second was one. the, the second first one. one the yeah. first one was all in suits. When you're all in suits, you're all fitted for the first. Yeah. One. Um, yeah. And and the second time it was more like second treated was, like another game. Trackies, yeah, yeah it's just chilled. Exactly. Yeah, it was nice. It was it was a lot better. Yeah, yeah. a lot better. Yeah, and 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 that's and that's the thing. I think it, it seemed to be a lot more workman like. You know, we're getting the job done, and you just mm. got the job done, and it was the yeah. even when even when Jim got injured and Stephen had to come in, mm. um, those last, <laughs> last few minutes, bless him. Oh, dear. Yeah. I love Stephen. He's absolutely crackers. Uh, he's brilliant. He is, um, isn't he? You know, oh, he had him on. He's such a, and Jim and they're, um, they're all great. Um, yeah. But yeah, it, it's just fantastic scoring that goal. And obviously, you know, you've been a West Ham boy scoring that goal going up. It's just. Mm. Roy the Rover stuff, man. Still makes. I had to watch the other day. Knowing you were going to come on, I thought I'd watch yeah, it. Yeah, so oh, good, so good. Gets you going, Fantastic man. day, really. Yeah, really was. You know, so just a, a little bit. Uh, the only thing would be it was in Cardiff, not Wembley. But do you know? Not what, a lot though? we could do about it. No, but you know what though? I pref- in a weird way. I, I know. I know Wembley has what is Wembley, and Wembley is like mm. the you know. But for the fan, the experience, Cardiff was great because it was bang in the middle yeah. of the state of the city. They split the city in half. All the pubs were open. You know, Wembley, it's a mm. bit like Wembley way. I mean, it's a bit like criticism of, of London Stadium in terms of it's it's a bit away from everything, whereas uh, yeah. Upton Park, it was on top of everything. So, yeah. I know, but yeah, I mean, I had the same car park space three years in a row because obviously we went there mm. again, didn't we? The following <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, not as, oh, not as, yeah, not as, not as great. I think we had, I think it was, was it Con- yeah, I think we had Conch on and, and I think we had Matty on as well. And they were like, so I mean, the FA Cup, don't, don't talk about the FA Cup though. Still yes. Good. Yeah. Just so gutting really. Just, you know what I mean? <laughs> and one hand on the trophy, one hand oh. on the trophy and, and Stevie G, yeah, coming up with that so, so late. And then, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, just the cruel, the cruel way to lose it on, on pens. But it is, it is what it is, isn't it really? I mean, I, I'm, I, I mean, I, I remember going up and taking that penalty and being so confident, really, like really, yeah, 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 yeah. like uh, we had Peter check in the, the week before um, the week or the week of the, the final um, because he's friends with Ludo, isn't he? Uh-huh. So, um, so he came in as a neutral goalkeeper. I didn't really know anyone, and each player had to take six penalties. So I, I took my six. You know, you'd go and do training, and then you'd go yeah. up in groups four and five, yeah. and do don't, don't take your pens. And I took my six, three of my left and three of my right, scored all for, scored all six. Um, and I was just just yeah, I was all right. I took penalty I'd taken penalties before for other clubs. So yeah, yeah I mean Rainer just goes the right way. I mean, I, I mean I, I know uh, it, 
<laughs> he was like, oh, Mr. Penalty. So, no, no, I've got a penalty saved, mate. Got a penalty <laughs> saved. <laughs> that's a difference. That is that's a difference. difference. Yeah. That's a yeah, difference. It is what it is. But gutting, mate. I mean, that oh. would have been so, so, so special. Exactly. But, yeah, robbed, robbed like that and robbed by Stevie G. That's, yeah, uh, yeah. Hopefully, I, I want to get Scaloni on on the show and just ask him. Lionel. Yeah, um, why? Uh, why? He was, just like... he, yeah, bless him. Honestly, he, I've never seen anybody, never seen anybody so devastated uh, after losing the game. Like really, no. From the yeah. from the end of the game, we obviously flew all the way back home to the Stansted. Yeah, uh, and he was with his dad, and he just cried oh. the whole. What, mate, I mean, like, what? Well, it must have been like three hours. Three and a half hours, like mm. bawling his eyes out, solid. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, but boy. um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Argentinian international. He was the Argentinian international, mm. and I think, well, yeah. I think I was sat. I think I was. I think I had a good seat. Uh, like I managed to get one, and and it was like I remember I was right in, above the the second half, the second half injury time goal, and obviously I saw the ball come, and obviously Marlon only had one leg, didn't he, at the end, um, mm. and it was the wrong leg. He had to. <laughs> He had two legs he would have scored, but yeah. oh well. It just adds to the whole West Ham, isn't it? Yeah. It's just yeah. West Ham. But you know, yeah. it's, it's weird when you leave a game and everyone, all the other opposition shake your hand and say, Oh, you are yeah. you know, we were robbed. You were you were robbed. Mm. Liverpool fans saying they were robbed, that's ironic, isn't it? Um yeah. wow. Uh shots fired. But anyway, so but yeah, it was I mean it's a great time, obviously. You know, and obviously we're in the Premier League again. That's it. That was a great season, I thought that season. I mean, you were banging mm. them for the beginning of that season as well. I mean you were yeah, I think you were like top striker at goal scorer for the, a few weeks, for the opening weeks or something mm. like that in the Premier League, and just had a knack of scoring. I remember it was, it was like, yeah, know. just a good, just a good, just a good teammate, real good team, real good changing room. Yeah, great just, um, yeah, it was just a, a fantastic place. Yeah, and it, yeah, as you said, good, good atmosphere. The changing room was good. There was a good, good vibe around the place. I mean, it's the same now. I think mm. there's parallels to. Now, in terms of this, it yeah. seems to be a good, good changing room, good mm. atmosphere, good manager. Um, yeah, and I think it just it seems it's, there's there's a lot of parallels. I think with that team, this team, young team, hungry team. Yeah, he brought you in. He brought the Wimbledon, Wimbledon boys in as well. Mm. Um, there was yeah, I mean yeah, I mean to be fair, out of all the managers I've worked at West Ham with, he was the only one who gave a shit about what music we'd played. So literally, me and mm. so I'd so like it, like you know, Harry or whatever wouldn't care and Slav and none. But literally, I reckon pretty much every other game, I reckon he'd, he'd bring us into this <laughs> that little office yeah. and, ask, and ask, "So Russ, what what music we're going to play today?" And I said, like, "I don't know." A bit of, Love it, and he was always like, "Right, yeah. what, a bit of Rat Pack." He loved it. He loved fucking Rat Pack. He yeah, like, he did. Yeah, yeah, and I was yeah. like, it's, "It's not going to work. It's not going to work, Alan. It's not going to work." I remember yeah. once. He went to see the Rat Pack at the Soho Theatre, Rat Pack Live, and he went backstage mm. and bought the D. He, he basically hired the Dean Martin impersonator to come on the pitch. I think it was half time for one game to sing Bubbles, and and he he didn't know the okay. words. Brilliant, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Typical West End, like great idea. Well, he came pods. up. It was once. That's pods, all right. It was once we came back from Florida, and he got us into the room. Russ, I got an idea. It's a really good idea. I went to Sea World or something like that. I think it was Sea World and the Shamu show, and they were asking the audience questions, and the camera was zooming in, and they had to put up one finger, two finger, or three fingers for the answer. We should do that. I said, yeah, that's a good idea. Yes, yeah, zoom in and ask a, ask a West Ham fan to put one finger up at the, at the camera. Yeah. What would it be? Answer, yeah, answer one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, exactly. Three. Fucking good three, you know. Yeah, yeah. Bless him, bless him. Right. And, uh, <laughs> I don't want to tell you to. So, Bob, so basically what we do is, you know, we, we talk about the history and the time at West Ham, but we do this Hammers 11 thing. So, you know, as I said, five seasons, over, you know, over 150 first team appearances, you know, you play some really good players. And so what we try and do is put together an 11 of the, of the players that, that you played with at West Ham. And it's only okay. a bit of fun. And, and feel free to put yourself in to get those appearances up. You know, people do. Some people don't. Some people do. It doesn't matter. But that's what it's counts as an appearance, is it? It counts as appearance. I'll have a word with it. I'll have a word with, with Rob on the program. I'm getting okay. changed. Um, so, so we try to keep four four two as well. I know you deal with the football escape, yeah. escapes thing. I know you, they, but we try to keep four four two because that's the only graphic I've got. Um, so, who would be in goal for the Zamora eleven? That's the question. Oof. 
Um, oh, it's tight between Bywater. Do... It's tight between Bywater and 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 Jimmy. You know, yeah. Just you both do... great, great lads. Both good keepers. Just so tight. Toss of a coin. That you can do really. honourable mentions as well. You can do honourable mentions. So say you know, say say if you pick whoever you pick a honourable yeah, mention yeah. to, da, 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 but I'm going to pick da da da. That's the way everyone gets around. Um, I'm going to go with Stephen Bywater. I'm going yeah. to go with Bywater. Just a fantastic guy. Just like, I love him to bits. He's just a, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a couple did... of pennies short for pound, didn't he? Oh, he is. But do you know what I love about him? We had we had him and he, well, firstly, he just came in from walking the dog. So he had this stupid bloody Russian, this hat with the mass, massive, he just had the whole interview with this thing it's on. Very thing, yeah. Yeah, very thing. And then he said, um, I said to him, oh, yeah, uh, you know, how so? And he was, he was absolutely brilliant because he, you know, he was so honest. He was like, yeah, I wasn't mm. good at this, but I did this and I wish I'd played more games. But yeah, it's something about him. He's just, yeah, really endearing. So, yeah, Stevie. Yeah, so Stevie, sweet. I'm going to go for yeah, what okay, I'll put Stevie Bywater in. Uh, left back. Who's going to be left back? George McCartney, I think. Oh, nice shout. Nice shout. I think, yeah, he, he he got up and down that wing. Solid. Created a few goals for us. Yeah, he was very, very steady. Very yeah. steady. And you need that um, sometimes. You need players like that. You know, they sort of... Yeah. We've Obviously, we've got a few of them now. I think I think Sue Fowl is very similar. You know, he's he's I know he's mm. on the right side, but he's a seven, eight out of ten every game. You know, and he's not going to deviate from that. And I, I don't remember George making any mistakes. No, he didn't. Uh, oh. oh, he's thinking. No, nah, yeah, I'm obviously a conch, conch. I play with everywhere, don't I? You play with conch everywhere, but you know, everywhere. He everywhere. follows me about. He, well, it does seem so. It does seem so. To be honest. Um, <laughs> mm. Although he did say that that goal uh, for the FA, I finally got it out of him. I said, Conch, FA Cup. Did you mean it? Cross. And he said, and he went, do you know what? If I, if, it, if I scored it now, yes. But if I hadn't, like, like it, was, it was basically a cross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, yeah. Oh, I'll get you. I'll get you. Um, put Conch in. Conch. All right, Conch, we'll put Conch, Conch in. Put Conch in. He will then retweet mm. it. That's what I like. Social engagement. There you go. <laughs> Conch, <laughs> Conch, Conch in. Yeah, that boy, old conscious. He's the same, yeah, up and down. It's just uh, yeah. me and him have just got an understanding as well, really, in terms of he's created so many goals and knows where I want the ball so often. So, yeah. played with him as a kid, barking in Dagnum and in it, yeah. Side, so, yeah. yeah. And it's it's funny, and it's funny how there's you know that, that sort of particularly you and Conch, how it's sort of like gone through. Obviously, not you know you pretty much done very similar career paths. Obviously, at Fulham yeah. together as well, and it's um, Queens Park Rangers, Queens Park Rangers, Spurs, together. Spurs yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Under twenty ones, full England, Sunday side, district side, county side. So yeah, you just can't get rid of him, can you? I just can't shake no. him. Yeah. Oh well. Poor Conch. Anyway, right. Put Conchy in. Go on then. Let's go right back then. Who's going to be right back then? Uh, I think Lucas Neal. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Good captain. Good captain as well. Yeah. Yeah, he was a good captain. Yeah. 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 Good yeah. guy. Yeah, that's what they said. I think it was Anton said he was like, you know, he'd go round and do things that they hadn't done before, like you know, take yeah. pieces of the win bonus and. Things like that and all that. Yeah, it was just, just yeah, it's just really good. Yeah, always thinking that. about. Yeah, you need that man. Yeah, you need that. Right. Okay. Conch on one. Lucas Neal at first centre off. Who's your first centre off then, Bob? Uh, Ginger Pele. GP. Good old GP. Top man. Top man, isn't he? Yeah. Love him. Yeah. Should be there now. Really. Should still be there now. Yeah. Really. Yeah, no, he should be there. No, um, I think and even even not, you know, even even involved in, you know, Conch obviously is involved, still involved in the club, and obviously Colton and, and, and Potsy mm. and Avon, they're all still involved. And yeah, arguably, you know, Jin should be there as well. Um and that's the thing, that's why I mean a lot of people have said, and I, I know is that you can't compare the two, but obviously Craig Dawson is a similar type of player to Jin in that he just puts his body in line, doesn't give a shit. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, you know, not, not 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 like Ginger, a, Ginger's, Ginger's better for me, but yeah, yeah. oh yeah, definitely mean. Ginger's Simmons, better. Same, oh, yeah. same old, yeah. But you know what I mean? Just mm. don't, they're not like creative. They're not like a yeah flam. They're like a yeah Josh Stone. Uh, he knows what his, he knows what his job. He knows what yeah. his job is. Just get it done. 
And that's what you want, isn't it? No, that's it's months and maybe's, yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, we'll put we'll put Ginge in. Who's Ginge gonna partner then, Bob? Uh Rio's brother. <laughs> So his name is. Is that what? Yeah. Rio's brother. Oh, I love yeah. Anton though. He's a lot. He's, I mean, three, we used to we used to call him Three Weeks. Oh, I used to call him Three Weeks. Yeah. Three Weeks. He, he go, what's that? <laughs> he's fucking whatever your brother does. Three weeks later, you do it. Like he's fucking <laughs> hair. If he has his hair braided, he had it braided. Three weeks. Fucking tracksuit, oh, wish... whatever clothes he was wearing. Yeah, oh, I love that. it. That's brilliant. I wish mm. he'd take. Oh, I wish it had happened with me, but no, he's no Rio's not on yet. But Anton's been on a few more than three weeks. But um, yeah, no, uh, yeah, top. I, I love that. He was again, you know, was, just that pair pairing together. They were good, you know. Strong. Well, Ginger, Ginger, and yeah, really strong. Good guy boy. off the pitch. Funny, funny oh, yeah. boy. Funny boys. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you're funny. You had a real good, good team spirit. All, all funny guys, to be honest. Um, based on obviously what we see as fans. But anyway, um. Right, uh, midfield, left left wing. Who's going to be left wing then, Bob? Matty, Matty Everton. Yes, Effers. Good old Effers. Yeah. Top man. Forever up and down. Forever up and down that wing. And he worked his, worked his cock old off. School. Created some goals. Yeah. Yeah, created some goals, scored some goals. So, no, yeah. yeah. And I think with him, he's, like, he's like that old school, like, you know, it's a lost art, I think, like being a true winger. You know, just putting left yeah. on the right wing, not on, not on his different foot. Yeah. Just... Get down there, get it in. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. easy. Right, I put Matty on the left. Let's go on the right then. Who's going to be right then, Bobby? Um, I'm going to go Yossi Benayou. Oh, top man. Top so man. I just had, a, like I say, an understanding with him that, uh, yeah, yeah, not, not, I haven't had that with too many players really. Like a real, real good understanding. Mm. I run somewhere, he plays it, vice versa, yeah. just a complete understanding. So, um, yeah, he would be, if he, the right winger. Yeah. A man of the match for the FA Cup final, he was. Doesn't know what anyone says. He was, he was a man. Great player. Mm. And another boomerang player. We've had Gingy's. He's a boomerang player. He's gone and come back. Yoshi went and came back mm. as well. Um, mm. Centre midfield, tough one. Who's your first centre midfielder then, Bobby? Oh, God. We had some good ones. Centre midfield, yeah. Um... Plenty, plenty of good ones. Plenty of good ones. I'm going to go with... Uh, either Hayden Mullins or Nigel Rio Coca. Ooh. Oh, I'll go with Nobes anyway. All right, I'll put Nobes, Nobes in. We'll put Nobes in. Okay, that's that. And then that, it's that. And then it's that. Them two, I think. Oh. Yeah. And then Nigeria Koku, obviously captain Hayden Mullins. You know, I think obviously so, so steady, solid. so steady. Hayden. We really yeah, missed him would. for that FA Cup final because obviously he kicked off with Louis Garcia, weren't it? They both got sent mm. off. Do you remember? And and he's. I mean, I think you know. For me, it's interesting with, with players like Hayden Mullins because he's like. When we interview like, you know, yourselves and, and I don't know, Anton, I think Luke, Chadwick and all these guys are, who played with Hayden, they all put him in the team. But you interview fans and no one puts him in the team because they don't That's see That's because they don't understand. They don't understand. Yeah. They don't see it day to day. You get that with, you get that with so many players, though. Yeah. You don't appreciate Like fans don't appreciate half of what a lot of players do yeah. uh, on the pitch. But, but players that play with them appreciate it. Mm. Uh, it's like, appreciate you, it even more so. You know it, but you know, the fans know it after that person's left. So like Carrick, for mm. example. So every team yeah. Carrick left, no one replaced him properly, and mm. and so you know, and I think that's the same with, with with Mullins. Obviously, back in the day, people like Jeff Pike and Peter Butler. For, he was my one. Mm. He, he was he was I love Peter Butler. Mm. Um, but yeah, Mullins. I uh, yeah, he did a lot of that sort of unsung hero. It's a bit like Declan Rice. It's why people don't see yeah. outside of West Ham. He's mustard. Why he's mustard? He's mustard. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Really good. Um. I'll go with Hayden. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah, just, just so steady in there. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what you need as well. You want that, that steady mm. pro- process, you know, in there. Um, I mean, I mean, Nigel's lovely. We had Nigel on. Nigel's lovely. He, he's in America yeah. smoking his cigars. He's doing a great thing. You know what I mean? Mm. Bless him. <laughs> All right. Okay. Up front. First. Uh, 
Teddy Sheringham. Teddy, Teddy Sheringham. Yeah, just just as a, as a mentor, it was fantastic sure. for me to play play alongside um, and learn a lot from. So Teddy Teddy as a mentor was was special. Yeah, yeah, and he, yeah, a lot of, really a, lot of good. a lot of a lot of your your peers said the same thing. You know, just you always look after the younger players. Um, oh, it's going to really annoy me. It might have been someone like. Might be some. No, I can't remember who it was. But anyway, it was he. He, he suggested they go. He go to the, you know. What, it was one youth player or young, and he said, "Oh, I need a new contract." And Teddy, Teddy, <laughs> basically dragged him yeah, to yeah. the manager's office. But, yeah. Outside. Yeah. Did you get some more money yeah. off him, mate? But yeah. All right. So Teddy's probably in. Probably knows, it? It's probably knows. I have um, interviewed no. One day, one day he will get no on. Yeah. I can't remember his name, yeah. but yeah. Um, Teddy is one. Who's a who's the last one? Who's the last player? There's. Uh, I'll put Mazza I'll put Mazza in there. You're gonna put, put Mazza in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of goals, worked his socks off and yeah. Really did. Yeah, you know. done well for West Ham, so yeah. Did really well for West Ham. Yeah, no. Mm. Uh, no, good team, good team. I like that. Um Listen, Bob, I said I weren't going to take a lot of your time and, and I don't want to take a lot of time. I appreciate you you're very, very busy and you've probably got to pick up got to pick up the kids soon, maybe from school. Mm. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I know it's awful, isn't it? It's awful yeah. with that timing. But, um, listen, man, thank you so much for your time. Um, it's been pleasure, really my man. Thank you, and obviously, thanks awesome. everyone for watching or or, uh, or listening. Wherever you do, give it a like, give it a share from myself and from Bobby. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Get your jabs when you have your appointments. You you won't have a good had your appointment yet, Bob? Have you? Not yet. No, I'm forty. Though. I'm forty. Though. I'm, I'm in the next bracket soon, so I'm well, open. I, I had my. I mean, I'm, I'm a year young. I'm a year younger than you, but I'm a lot fatter than you. That's why. I've had mm. mine. <laughs> anyway, lucky, <laughs> lucky. All them burgers uh, come in handy, eh? You know what? All, you might what be able I mean, to get you know, freedom, get away in the summer or something. That's what I mean. I'll be on the beach yeah. like like a beach whale yeah. and everyone beach else well, is like, yeah. you know, I'll be there yeah. fried, like fried, <laughs> but, you know, real tomato, me, because I've got nowhere as well like ginger. But anyway, take care, everyone. Stay safe. Wash your right. hands. Cut on your eyes and we'll see you again very, very soon. Take care, everyone. Much love. Cheers, nice pal. See you later. Cheers, pal. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.